see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. Hello and welcome to the Lion Fen. We are here and we are going to start The Witcher today. that we haven't finished our other theory yet, but we will come to an end on that one at another time. But for now, request has been made that we start this one. Alright, it looks like some patches have been made. New content, promo, cross progression, integrated mods, and controls. To make The Witcher 3 world hunt in our future games as good as possible, we'd like that as much as possible.
Crash Star Dude! Adjust the story, enjoy a smooth ride through the world. Story and sword, you're happy to be challenged. Just your season, demanding gamer. Bones, Death March, you're truly insane. Living. Let's go with Story and Sword, even in the mount. We don't want it too easy, but we don't want it too challenging. And I haven't really played the computer too much. Tutorials? Yes, let's have to play find that amusing.
It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Bessemer bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Welcome to the tutorial! Welcome to Witcher 3 Wild Hunt! This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements of each. The message will be saved in the glossary where you'll also find detailed information about the world lore and gameplay mechanics. To disable tutorial messages, go to Options menu. Space to continue. Uh, use your Witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door. Rotate the camera using your sensitive. Witcher senses hold right. And move is the usual W S N D A O. The mini map in the upper right hand corner of your display shows your current location and the surrounding areas. chance first. In the upper right hand corner of your display shows your current location and surrounding area. Underneath the mini map you'll find the objectives for your active quest. Clashes with my complexion, you should know that. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Mm -hmm. Undergarments. Toiletries. Oh. 
hold E. Stop, just press E. It's hold. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. so boring they put you to sleep too damn it better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls wanted to rest my eyes a bit <laughs> making her slog through that brick no wonder she took off john of bruges lacks flair true but he's reliable not like the hogwash they print nowadays she's tackling the pendulums right how many times do i have to tell her don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Oh, don't get mad at her. We've spoiled her. Oh, I get one of the dialogue options. Uh, don't get mad at her. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. why you were so eager to practice. Strike! Blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. New climb. WS2 descend. And confront her with an obstacle. Press W and climb over it. Okay, go forward and hit space. Space is our jump. Okay, just a slide. Thank you. 
breathing. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Oh no, Vesemir's got that look. What did you expect? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did. Read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Never start with the fundamentals. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Oh, witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate clad knights or ethereals. Wraiths or bone crushing giants to match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies. Witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat that techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords, the one steel for fighting humans and non humans, and the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger, faster foes. One, draw your steel sword. See the sheet it. Oh goodness, it's quite fucking away from my fingers. Press Z to select or deselect a target. When you have a target selected, all your attacks are directed towards it. You don't have to select a target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on specific opponents. Quick cuts! One, two, three! Not a fast attack against Vesemir. Tom Foolery, enough! Strong strikes now. 
No, Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Oh, left shift. Yeah. Stop showing off, Gerald. Done. Position series. Footwork. Remember. Uh, to attack, to one side, indicate direction, and use alt. Oh, is a fly trapped in amber today? Do it again. Oh, is a fly trapped in amber today? Do it again. Choose a direction, use W, S, D, or A, and press space. I'm too old for this shit. Now, Harry, Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword. It's angled. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Uh, press just before your opponent strikes to perform a counter attack. Maybe a storm's coming. Bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quell. Uh, press tab to open the quick access menu. Nice gracious the bottom buttons work. Select the Quinn sign using and press left click to make it active. Cast press. Tom Foolery! Siri! Quinn is sometimes called a witch's shield. Now watch carefully to see why. The Quinn sign I'm protects too you against old damage for this and shit. certain critical effects. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quinn sign, I'd be aflame by now. Hard, Geralt. Come on! Siri, guard. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. <laughs> Axie can really muddle your mind. It distorts your Heard her now. Show her, girl. See this, Siri? Cast your room to lay a magic trap that slows the enemy to enter the area of the deck. Oh, Bob! Don't worry, Siri. Quinn will dampen the blow. Continue training at will. Ah! Ah! 
damn it. him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Moy. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm, little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. 
We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I, I smell it. Ghouls. Life on the con continent and in the skillage isles of nasty, brutish, and short war lays waste to the land and those in spares live live in spares live in fe live in fear of countless monsters looking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above your their heads, including that you should fight them with your silver sword. What? Lost your nerve? Generates adrenaline flames. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking, or by meditating for at least one hour. Note, while playing on the blood and broken bones in Death March difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Press R or F to consume them and regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slots. Press R now to eat it and it generate a portion of, of your vitality. Continue. Walk up to your horse and press Alright, we are going to stop here for now. I want to say thank you for watching and until next time we'll be here. Please like and subscribe.